Hi guys, this is Mrs. Hill. This is lesson number six from our story, Arturo's Baton. What we're going to do today is we are going to read the story from cover to cover. I will post the AR uh, test number in your Google Classroom. And after you listen to the story, um, you may take an AR test. Okay, your skill packet should be complete by now. You've got page one and you've got page two. Make sure that is complete. Do not turn your skill packet in until you finish your AR test. Okay, so our story is Arturo's Baton. The author and the illustrator is Sid Hoff. Arturo was a famous conductor. When he waved his baton, the orchestra played. He waved it wildly, and the trumpets blared. He waved it gently, and the violins sighed. More, more, shouted the people in the audience. After the concert, they swarmed around Arturo just to be near him. They brought him flowers. I thank you, said Arturo. This little stick, my baton, thanks you. Without it, I could never conduct. Felix, his manager, drove Arturo home. Remember, Felix told Arturo, after tomorrow's concert, you leave on a world tour. The maid met Arturo with a tall glass of milk. His dog, Toscani, brought him his slippers. The valet had his pajamas ready. Arturo got into bed. He put his baton on the pillow next to him. In the morning, the baton was gone. The servants looked for it. Felix looked for it. Toscani looked for it. Even Arturo was down on his hands and knees looking. Finally, they gave up. Cancel the concert. Cancel the tour, Arturo shouted. We can't cancel, said Felix. All the tickets are sold. You'll just have to use another baton. Felix drove Arturo to a big music store. Arturo tried every baton they had. This one is too heavy, he said. This one is too light. This one's too big. This one's too short. It's no use. I can't conduct without my baton. You're a great conductor, Arturo, said Felix. You don't need a baton to make the orchestra play. Just wave your hands. They don't work, said Arturo, but I will give it a try. They hurried to the concert hall. Arturo went on stage. Good luck, said Felix. Arturo stood in front of the orchestra and waved his hands. He waved them wildly and the trumpets blared. He waved them gently and the violin sighed. More, more, encore, encore, shouted the people in the audience. They rushed to the stage and threw flowers at Arturo's feet. Bravo, maestro, said Felix. The orchestra never sounded better. You were right, Arturo whispered to Felix. I am a great conductor. Arturo's maid and valet were waiting for him in his dressing room. Look what someone found, the maid said. There stood Toscani with Arturo's baton in his mouth. Thanks, Toscani, said Arturo, but I will not be needing it anymore. It's yours to keep. And they flew off on the world tour. After you take your AR test, 
um, turn in your skill packet. Uh, the AR test is listed in your Google Classroom. If you have any problems or have any questions, you can message me through Remind. I hope you enjoyed this book. I think it's a fun book. I've always enjoyed it in years past when I've taught it or when I've used it in class. Um, it's a fun story. Um, so I hope your AR points are racking up. Um, please submit your skill packet when you're done. Green button in the upper right hand corner that says, I think it says turn in. So make sure you get that turned in and we will see you um, next week. Bye bye.